was never designed as a habitat where relationships could grow the internet, right? And you get all these wee dweebs. If they fancy somebody, they can just click like on a few of their pictures or send a direct message. And that is what creates a generation of these wee horned up sex gremlins, these fucking apprentice rapists who are being created because they have never handled rejection face to face. They have never received a knockback from point blank range. Right? They've never felt the emotions walking up to the girl that you fancy in a school disco, feeling your heart bursting through your Sergio Tashini polo shirt. <laughs> I'm going to have a fucking clutch here. It's bursting right through. Your cheap, shitty, spar hair gel starts running into your eyes as you're sweating. Your mouth's dry, there's a cold bit of sweat going down your spine. You feel it trickle right into your arse crack as you're advancing on the potential love of your life. And you knew you had fucked it up as soon as you arrived there. The way you were presenting yourself, you knew you had fucked it. But before you knew it, the words were leaving your mouth. Would you get off with me? would slow down. You would hear yourself saying the words. <laughs> Hanging in there for the slight chance that she'll say yes, and it was always no. <laughs> and it was painful, it was humiliating, it crushed you, but you had faced a fear. You, you never called her a bitch. You respected her decision. You respected yourself. You had conquered the fear. You were getting back in the game. Would any of your friends get off with me? <laughs> you were rising from the ashes like a phoenix here. Listen, if you hear of anybody who wants to get off with me, just spread the word. Big Kev's in the corner, eating a Freddo, drinking a Capri Sun, looking for love. Give me a quid or you're getting stabbed. <laughs> Just you.